Hey everybody, Haku here with my review for Shoujo Shumatsu Ryoko or Girls Last Tour Episode 8. Uh, another great episode week after week. This show, again, what I noticed watching this episode is like, I was just beaming, smiling the whole time. I was so happy to be watching this. In fact, I feel like this episode was a lot more happy than a lot of the others. Uh, even though in general this show has been really sort of, though it's slow and character driven, it's still... And it, it's in this dark, lonely world, and it gives off the feeling of loneliness so super well, but it still somehow ends up being positive, and so, I guess chill is a good word for it. It's just really positive a lot of the time, it seems, but even more so, this seemed like a really happy episode, and it's got me a little paranoid, because I'm like, okay, things can't be this happy without something somewhat negative happening to the characters. But either way, let's go through and discuss this thing. So uh, they start off, they find this place, and they find a radio there, and I was thinking, okay, so there's a bunch of shelves, is this like some kind of radio library thingy? Uh, but it seems to be storage units. Uh, going through the storage units and finding some random ju junk, they find another one of the statues, and I just, I loved Yuri, the way she was so happy and excited to find the sas to find the statue and then asked for the camera, and she was just so happy and so cute with the camera saying, um, how she can record everything and never forget anything. It was just so adorable. And uh, the show itself, with the animation, was really, really beautiful. All through the first scene, the way the snow was falling and all that, it just looks so, so good. Um, and uh, they talk about how they probably won't ever see Kanazawa or Ishii ever again, which again is really cool and adds to the loneliness of the world saying you know there are other people out there but if you see them and you go your separate ways I mean whether they're dead or whether they're still alive what are the odds of ever seeing them again um, then I think uh, yeah Cheeto says hey I think these are actually graves and the names up there the people left them behind to preserve a little bit of themselves or whatever uh, to be remembered by, so they go put all the stuff back, but I don't think so. Um, it, it seems like it's just storage containers or something, because that's kind of how those work. But either way, they go put the stuff back. It was really great. They're climbing up another spiral staircase in our next little uh, part of the episode, and um, one line that I really, really liked from Yuri when she was telling Chi just chill, take it easy, because that's kind of her, that's her role every episode, chill, calm down. One line I really liked from her was when she was like, well everything's so dangerous, I just sort of think it'll be okay. And I like that, it's like, this person has lived through this post-apocalyptic world where pretty much everything can kill you all the time, and she's like, everything is so dangerous that, I mean, I've gotten used to everything being dangerous, so I think it'll be alright. I just really like that. Uh, so they have to use this path that somebody built along the outside after the inner path was uh, destroyed a little bit. And they end up destroying that outer path as they climb across. Really good scene, really well animated. Had uh, some great tension too as well. Uh, and I like how it all came around after they did all that. And the tower itself was an allegory for life and how life goes around and around and sometimes you have to, uh, sometimes it's dangerous and you have to take chances and all that and you can't be afraid. And all of that was really, really cool how it all meant something in the end. Uh, then they, they find this other place. To me it looked kind of like a warehouse or some kind of factory. It was a bit weird. I couldn't really tell what the building was supposed to be, but that's kind of how it is most of the time in this show. Uh, and Yuri, again, found a nice stick. That is just, I freaking loved that, because it's the same as the other episode with the, uh, the Sound of Rain episode, where she just, um, is like, ooh, I found a nice stick, and then just plays around with it. I thought it was great. Um, and then she has her moonlight power, and she starts smashing everything in the room. It was, like, it was just so fun and enjoyable, and Again, it says so much about the characters without really spelling anything out. I just, ah, it's so good to watch the characters grow and to just see this journey. It, it's one of the coolest, um, and I like stories that are based on journeys and stuff, but this is so good because it doesn't even need to have an ending. They can just keep showing us different things with the characters and stuff like this never really gets old as long as you continue to develop. 
Um, so they discover beer then. She is so cute with the beer. And we have this this ending and the feels, the happy feels were too much for me. Um, and like I said, too happy to be good. Uh, but either way, that's kind of it for the rundown of the show and or rundown of the episode. The show just makes me smile. It makes me so happy. Um, the uh, settings they use are incredible. Just this one episode, the spiral staircase, was such a cool setting. And of course, they're in the snowy, destroyed city and all that. Uh, the place they were at at the beginning with the storage containers or graves or whatever was really, really cool looking, especially all the big panned out shots we got. And uh, the way they had to climb up and get to that final place they were at was really cool. And now it was sort of like ledging out above what was below them. Like, all of the settings look really good in the show. Uh, and like I said, the genius character work and journey storyline is just great. Uh, I would give the episode another, and I feel like I've probably given this show the score a lot, another 9.5. I'm going to give it 9.5, uh, was it Moonlight Powers out of 10. So that's it. Uh, 9.5 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you did like the video. Comment down there to tell me what you thought of this week's episode, what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more. Uh, Shoju Shimatsu Ryoko, much more on the channel, tons of other things. Hoseki no Kuni should be out a couple hours after this video. That video will be, um... Anything else? Uh, follow on Twitter if you want to tell try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. If you want to link to our Discord server to talk with me and some of the others about stuff there, uh, just ask and I'll give you one. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.